This is the last in our set of videos looking specifically at our professional role in supporting parents and carers. We need to remember that as people who already work with children, we have all the skills we need to be able to have sensitive and sometimes difficult conversations with children and their families. No single agency can do this alone. Given our roles and positions, we should be aware of the complexity of the situation that the parents or carers may be facing when learning that their child has been abused. The more effectively we support parents and carers, the better we support the child. Of course, we must acknowledge that some parents will be the ones harming their child and their responses to us will be influenced by this. But we must also expect non-abusing parents and carers to show anger or hostility towards us at times too. It's an incredibly hard and stressful situation for them to manage and some of this behaviour may be caused by how they are feeling about the abuse rather than how they feel about you. Keep in mind that the turmoil they are experiencing in relation to the discovery of sexual abuse is likely to have knock-on effects to other challenges in their lives too. While some parents and carers may deny what has happened due to their own involvement, there are many different reasons why they may deny the abuse has occurred and they may take time to come to terms with it. Be sensitive to the fact that some parents will have very mixed feelings about the involvement of certain agencies. They may have had previous experiences which have left them feeling distrustful or resentful. Above all, work together in partnership with the parents or carers wherever possible, ensuring that they are kept informed and involved. The complexity of child sexual abuse means that responsibility for prevention, protection and support sits with a number of different professionals. This can mean that at times the child's needs get lost within the system. By working together, agencies can help better protect and support children and families. If you haven't already done so, I'd now recommend that you read our Supporting Parents and Carers resource for more information. This is available on our website and relevant no matter what your role. This brings us to the end of this set of videos on supporting parents and carers but also overall on this series of videos on tackling child sexual abuse. A few final words then. Child sexual abuse takes many forms, but the majority of sexual abuse happens within the family environment. Child sexual abuse affects both individuals and their relationships with others. Sexual abuse thrives in secrecy. The more we talk about it, the more likely we are to stop it happening. And supporting children needs us to adopt a whole family approach. Finally, remember abuse is not destiny. People can and do recover from it. There is always hope. Together, we can tackle child sexual abuse. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. We hope you have found them useful, and if so, please let others know. The more we share, the more we inform, the better position we'll all be in.